hi and hello and a very very happy new year to my beloved youtube family 2023 is officially over and we have now entered the leap year 2024. My last video for 2023 was a small little recap of what happened in the whole of last year. If you missed that video, go check it out. Today, let's talk about where we truly stand when it comes to the real estate market and what can we actually expect in 2024. But first, you know the drill. If you are new, hit that subscription button and the bell icon. And to all my loyal viewers, please hit the like button. It gets me motivated to keep you up to date with everything real estate. Now, for those who truly follow the real estate and the mortgage market, you would have noticed the average prices across different property types, especially in the city, has changed considerably in 2023, with the prices really peaking around maybe around June 2023 for most locations, where detached homes in Toronto were actually selling for close to 2 million, were selling around 1.5 to around 1.6 million, and the number of listings listings was what was controlling the price. So if listings were low, average prices would be higher. If listings were higher, average prices would be lower. However, now we're actually in a market where interest rate is specifically what's responsible for the average prices coming up or coming down. And as expected, every price increase or even a price decrease has happened as a result of the interest rate changing, either higher or changing lower. So based on this information and most people's theory regarding the interest rates relationship with average prices in 2024, should the interest rates decrease, which they most likely will, the average prices would likely shoot up. When 2023 began, the inventory was good and the prices were a little bit high up there. But when rates started soaring, buyers started to shy away. And so houses stayed and continued to get stale. The buyers who were constantly complaining that we don't have homes to buy now have homes to buy but could no longer afford them. By the third quarter of 2023, the number of active listings really started to increase at a fast rate. However, that really didn't affect the average price so much. It just started to slow down. Although it really hasn't come down as much and we are not by any means in some sort of a market crash with the average price dropping we are more so in a crash with respect to the number of sales and the people who are still talking about a bad market they're a little bit misinformed if they are referring to the average price it hasn't changed that much the average price is down relative to the high point that we are experiencing in the beginning of 2023. However, it is the number of transactions which are just very low. As a matter of fact, they are actually the lowest we've seen in over 20 years. So the next question is, great, this is all 2023 which ended yesterday. Is it still going to be the same for 2024? No, it won't. Right now, what I'm noticing is listings are actually getting suspended or terminated because sellers have realized that come 2024, Bank of Canada may not have a choice but to bring down the interest rate. And the main reason is not inflation or the unemployment rate. It's a number of renewals that are scheduled to close in 2024, or basically number of homes that are gonna come up for renewal. The banks are seriously concerned that when all these mortgages come up for renewal, people may truly not be able to qualify and will not be able to make that extra $1,500 or the $1,800 payment and that they may be forced to sell or go par of sale. And if that does happen, that could bruise the banks and in turn bruise the economy. But Bank of Canada Governor Tim McClim says he expects 2024 to be a transition year as higher interest rates slow down the economy, making way for lower inflation. Now, how much of this is true? We will just have to wait and watch and then hope 
and pray that the decisions we made today turn out to be the right ones. Like I said in my previous video, today we are facing lack of inventory, delusional buyers, some unscrupulous agents who never put their clients interests first and with changes that the real estate board has put in place which I'm going to discuss about in the next few videos that are coming up so watch those too. We just have to hope that 2024 will be a better year for all of us. In the meantime if you have any questions and want any kind of clarifications please don't hesitate to call me. If you still don't know who I am just go check my rating on Google and read my client reviews. Till then, take care and if you found value or like this video and would like to see more content, click on the boxes on the screen. Once again, my name is Preeti Rao. My contact information is in the description box below. Make sure to hit like, share, subscribe and that bell icon so you don't miss any future videos. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to call me because I hold the key that opens the door to your dream home.